Okay, this is a guide on how to use Flipboard. So here in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how and what to do once you're in Flipboard because it's a great app for all your social media to follow a specific website, um, to get all your Twitter feeds, whatever your interest is, whether it's gardening or just interest in uh, news, uh, tech stuff, um, whatever you're into, if you follow certain Twitter feeds, basically you can get all your information in one source in a nice magazine layout that's very pleasing to the eye. So first thing you want to do is sign up. Um, we will create an account here. Okay. Okay, so that's just basically it. And then you create an account. All right, um, you could have your pick your Twitter feeds, your Facebook, if you um, want to sign up with Facebook. So this is just like your starter packet. All right, right here you have all your flipboards. And as you see, this is how I'm flipping the page, just dragging from one corner and then dragging across. Once I find something that I'm interested in, I open the article. And it shows you the article, and you can read all about it. And then up here in this top corner is how you flip back. And then if you want to get back to the main page, you just flip up in that corner. Um, now, let's say once you want to subscribe to some things, let's say, um, like, I want to subscribe to certain things. Uh, save your own stories into magazines. You can create your own magazine. I'll go over that in a second. Um, but let's just say flip tester here. This is just all your magazines right there. I'll go over that in a minute. Uh, accounts. You can add all your different accounts that you're signed up to. You add, here's where you add your Twitter. So you can just put in your Twitter information there. Uh, your Facebook information there. We're going to put no for now. All right. Uh, Flickr, Instagram, Google+, LinkedIn, whatever. It'll all appear just like in that magazine format. If you want to see everything together, you can just hit cover stories and it'll actually show you all of these together. You could search for reshaping iOS. Okay, and here's my magazine right here. All right, and you could subscribe to this by clicking that button right there. Now it'll appear in your cover stories. All right, so here's just that magazine. So here I am just looking at that magazine. And it shows you all the different things that you could do in Apple, all the different tips about jailbreaking, um, different stuff like that. So, again, I'm going back. So, now, if I hit Cover Stories, this puts everything all together. So, here you have everything that I clicked that I was interested in from the beginning um, on that very first page that we went to, plus that Twitter I just subscribed to. And that Reshaping iOS magazine I just subscribed to. It's all here. If you link your Facebook account, your Facebook stuff will also appear here. And look down here, like it, like recently, just like an ad would come up in a magazine, you can see down here uh, different things that you might like. The cute, like these must all be like pictures about cute things. So, you know, you could subscribe to that. It'll appear in your cover stories. Basketball shoes right here. Let's say that you want you find a particular Flipboard magazine and you want to share it with your friends. If you hit the Share tab, you can share via email, Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. If you'd like to create your own magazine of content that other people would be interested in following, you can hit Flip This Into a Magazine. All right, so you can collect all the things that you're interested in and all the things that you like. So you hit Next, Magazine Title. Then you can select the category. This is if you want to make it public. Um, okay, and here's the, uh, where you say, everyone see my magazine or we're going to turn it off. So you can make it private or public. This is public, this is private. Okay, so we're just going to create. And you can click that link right there. And things I love, as you can see, I flipped basketball shoes. Just someone uh, put a picture of basketball shoes in there. Um or that actual magazine, that's something too that you could share. So you could flip a whole segue of stories into a magazine if you're interested. Uh, let's say I'm interested in this article here, Flip Stirs Interest. Add. Go to the link. 
Okay, now I've got two articles. Okay, so right there. Back to the beginning. Accounts. I'm just going to put in a, I'll put in a different account here. Sign in to Twitter right here. Okay, authorize app. All right, so right here, um, this is different stuff on Twitter that I subscribe to uh, just for the purposes of this account. All right, so now if I want to write a message to someone or just post like a, a Facebook status update, you could also do this with Facebook. Um, you could say, love iOS 7, I and mean, then you could even put the hashtag on there. But now if we look here, my accounts, if you go into the Twitter, um, your tweets, right there. And if I wanted to put that in my magazine after I tweeted it, I just do that. You can add a caption. Loving this. And it could be anything, you know what I mean? Just like a little side comment. Go into your magazine. And there it is, right there, loving it. And if you click on it, um, you see that. You could have the choice to follow or anything else like that. Let's say other things that you're interested in. Um, let's put gardening, for instance. All different things on gardening. So these are magazines and stuff like that. You find one that you like. Like, let's just say, you know, here's a magazine right here that someone created. Here's different sections, e-gardening, e-how gardening. So this is all like how-tos, what to do. And you could see, you could view a video. So right here, you, opening a video, basically can view that, which is great. Um, then you just put it right here, flip it right into your interest. And as you see, just flip the page, and there it is right there in my interest. And I can even post a tweet right here. Um, so you hit post the tweet down at the bottom. Let's just say, I love Flipboard. This is great if you just want to compose a Twitter message or anything else like that. And I can attach this current page that I'm on, which is also fantastic. Or I can attach a photo or just attach the link to um, a specific article, which is also great. But this is great why you want to incorporate Twitter and Facebook and stuff like that because you can basically post status updates right from there. All right. So if you just hit the back button, just like I did, back button, you can go right there. And if I hit, uh, you can see your different accounts and stuff like that. If you hit Flipboard, I'm just going to go back to my magazine right here. That's how you get back to it. Okay. I can subscribe to my own magazine, which I just did by hitting subscribe. Okay. And there we go. Right there is my different interest put on the page. So Flipboard is great for accessing accounts. Right here I have all my subscriptions, including the earlier subscriptions that I just subscribed to, all those magazines. So I can click each one individually, like this one, Reshaping iOS, read the specific magazine, and check out articles. I can even um, send a message, uh, copy a link. Um, right now I'm just going to post, share this on Twitter. I love this magazine. Check it out. Okay, then just hit send, and now it'll appear in my Twitter link. So I don't even have to leave this app. You know, I could just see it right from there. And, and here, just to make sure it went through, hit your tweets. There we go. Reshaping iOS, and there it is right there. There's the magazine. If you click on the magazine, and I'm not going to get out of the app, but you could actually view it on Twitter too, and it'll share just the magazine scene link. But it's so eye-pleasing to... It goes so well with the iOS 7 format, this app. Um, it's way ahead of its time. You can actually enable Facebook, too, and I highly recommend that you do that because once you do that, all your cover stories, like I said before, all your Facebook news feed, everything that would come up in the news feed would also appear um, in your status updates. 
And if I just wanted to share something on Facebook too, I could easily do that too, just by hitting the plus sign. Um, you just could open up an app, or open up an article, excuse me, and just basically share it from there. Share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter, share it by email. And the back button takes you right back to cover stories. And cover stories has everything. So if you just want to read everything all at once and not categorize things, that is great. So that's basically one of the best things that I personally love about Flipboard. Um, you can also customize how you view your subscriptions. You could say subscribe to anything, like if you saw all those before, it says that right here, I'll just type in, <clears throat> and you can type right from this bar here, Lady Gaga. Like, let's just say you're interested in Lady Gaga, and you don't want to just see what's on Flipboard, you want to see what's on everything. So here are all the results for Lady Gaga, and as you see, they're all categorized. You have different Flipboard users, tweets mentioning Lady Gaga, Twitter accounts with Lady Gaga, or S feeds from the web, Google+. Plus. So you could just follow them by hitting subscribe to each of these once you click on them. Instagram, Flickr, Tumblr, uh, SoundCloud, like all the different feeds right there is basically what you click. So as you can see, I'm just going to go down a little bit further. It shows you all the different, different types of sites that Flipboard has access to without even having to leave the app. And also, you know, you could even hit follow. Um, if you follow something on your Twitter, which is why I recommend doing Twitter, see, I just hit subscribe right there. Um, and this has nothing to do with Flipboard right here, what I just subscribed to. This is just, this is a Tumblr blog. And I just hit on it and I liked it. Rather than having to go on Safari and try to find things that I like related to Lady Gaga, I could just simply subscribe to it right from the app. And that's another great thing is animated GIFs. Like if you saw those animated pics before, Animated GIF files also work well in Flipboard, so it's another great thing. Let's just type in something else, like iOS 7, for instance, just to show you another example. And it shows you all the magazines related, to, a few of the magazines, where you could hit show 30 more results to see more magazines related to iOS 7, tweets mentioning, this is like searching for a hash, hashtag, basically, iOS 7. So, and I could follow... Um, specific tweets right from the Flipboard app without having to go into Twitter or without having to re-sign in with my Twitter account like every time that you do when you try to follow someone on Safari because you may not make a lot of tweets but you may just like to follow a lot of people just to get information. Like Here's an interesting one. Apple releases 7.0.4 and information on the jailbreak for 7.0.4. Okay. And if you look down here at the bottom, it says, uh, this is from at evasion on tether. I could just hit at evasion on tether. It'll bring me to all their tweets and I can actually hit subscribe up here at the top for them. And look, I'm subscribed. Uh, their messages will basically appear in my cover stories. And it's just basically like I followed them in Twitter. So anytime they post a new tweet, it'll automatically show up in my cover story. So it's a great way to get all your news, guidelines, and everything else like that for it. iOS 7 jailbreak, free apps. Like This is just all the stuff that they've recently posted, and I have complete access to it, whether I want to view it alone or whether I want to view it all together in my cover stories with everything else. Just the magazine layer. I mean, it's basically like why subscribe to People and all those other magazines that you have to pay money for when you could just simply use Flipboard now that you're learning how to use it. So, just basically great. And all the different ways that you could share it. You could share it via mail. Even read later. Like, you could subs you could link it to Pocket if you have Pocket or Readability or one of those types of apps where you want to read it from the web later. You could link it to that. Save the camera roll. Copy the link. I could email it. Facebook it. Twitter. Put it. Share it on Google+. Plus, all those things right from the Flipboard app without ever having to leave. So, this app is really great. And the way that it for it's formatted, I'm just telling you, it's very pleasing to the eye, like I said earlier. But overall, this is one of the best apps that I've ever used, and I hope you enjoy it too. Thank you for watching this tutorial.